Good Tuesday afternoon, everybody. January 15th, 2019. Welcome to another edition of Talking Fitchburg. I am the one, the only that I know of in this building right now. Jeremy Crosby. How y'all doing? And uh, my cohort, Ho- Sandra Bamlin. Cohort, that works. I'll take it. Howdy. How you doing? We're doing. It's been a busy morning here at Fact TV. It has been. Andrew has been playing. We've, we've uh, uh, successfully a, figured things out. Yeah, you're a scientist here. That's what I'm uh, saying. You, you you're helped the in research. that. Nah. Jeremy was right today, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're right a lot. One but time. No, no, no. One time. It was, it was a good find on your end because I was having issues finding something and you found it. And yeah, you may notice some testing going on on the Gov Channel this morning. That was that was Andrew and I. Yes. Mainly Andrew. No, just kidding. And who? probably be some later so yeah so if you see anything we we try to put tests when we are doing stuff like that so you're not like oh my gosh what's happening so also bear with us too over on uh the video on demand stuff it's been spotty not working so well we're uh (sighs) in the midst of an upgrade right now yes uh all all of this will roll together with some uh hopefully some great news to share with you here i'm hoping yes i hope so too fingers crossed big news for fact tv Mm -hmm. big and uh yeah and i've got to figure out on tds too mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. how to get our logo on there some prairie's got it yeah i'm, ta- I'm taking this right to the public there you go <laughs> i demand that fact tv's logo get on on our channels there i think you make a nice polite email to tds with our logo say hey can you put this on their uh, channels thanks Bye. i'm calling some prairie and saying how did how you, did do, you do, do that yeah so anyway. their camera just magically moved is magic because it's only me and you here Oh no! I saw that. I have a whole crew here. <laughs> somebody who gets my coffee, somebody who walks my dog, the whole works. <laughs> yeah, I only nice. come out of my trailer and back in every day. Oh I mean, right, that's, that's, yeah, it. that's it. I can't do anything that's else. That's it. So yeah. what we got today? We got a busy day for you coming up here. We're gonna get you up to date, including possible snow in the forecast. That's right. Get your shovels ready or not. We'll tell you about that in just a few minutes. Uh, winter biking tips. We're gonna take it on today. Hop on board with us as uh, we ride through whatever winter throws at us. And then independent living uh, just in time. It's like I timed all this, like I produced the show or something. They're talking about falls in the wintertime. Who knew? Yeah, we'll be sharing great information there and uh, wrap up the show. A little bit of PB&J. But first, we kick it off. And I've titled this one, A Winter Storm a Brewing. Okay, Winter Storm Brewing. <laughs> National it's Weather coming. Service, you need to stay up to date with this. I shared it yesterday on our Facebook page, and uh, it keeps changing every day, of course. But, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, it says here, uh, light or moderate snow is looking more likely Friday night into Saturday. Any moderate snow will occur over far southeast Wisconsin due to lake enhanced snow. But keep up with the forecast as it changes occur to the storm system pretty frequently right now Mm -hmm. but as you look at this you know it it appears that uh the same areas that got hit over last weekend Mm -hmm. are getting it again of course (laughs) with the really heavy snow and uh we're we're in the light snow snow showers area and uh yeah no totals yet right haven't seen anybody throw anything out yet but uh we'll see you know as it gets a little bit closer we'll see which direction this uh thing goes but uh yeah Keep an eye on it. I'm thinking low to no snow. I'm thinking just at your house, you're going to yeah. have a ton of snow because I'm going to dump some off with a dump truck. Okay. I don't know. The kids will like it. I know. I would too. I, you go sledding. Mm-hmm. Short runs. All right. Moving forward here. New Verona High School, uh, they shared some photos that I wanted to share with you. Wait till you see this massive hallway coming up. The yeah. construction's moving along really nice here. You're driving by this thing, you're like, holy macro. Big, Huge. big buildings. It's got to accommodate a lot of students. Look at this hallway. This is the main entrance hallway that you're looking at here. I wonder what's going to be. If there's going to be windows looking over from the. Like, I'm wondering what those holes are going to be on, like, the mm, second and third mm. floors. I don't know. If they're going to be giant I'm sure windows. There's plans somewhere what, yeah, on this, right? I'm sure. Uh, either way, they like are. Uh, they're cruising. <laughs> <laughs> it does kind of look like a mall. A mall of education. Heck oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, either way, uh, progress being made there. And, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, stay up to date with uh, what they've got going on with that construction uh, mm-hmm. through their Facebook page if you haven't liked them already. Uh, they do a great job. Actually, all three of our school districts do a great job sharing information on the Facebook page. So yes. check it out. All right, we got a ribbon coming uh, ribbon 
cutting coming up tonight. Woo! <sighs> I tell you, Andrew, some yep. days. Join us for ribbon cutting for Touch of Pilates and Tailor Made Body tonight. This kicks off at 4 o'clock p.m. They're offering tours, sign up for classes, and of course, just say hey. What's going on? Hey. <laughs> right. Right. 4 o'clock p.m. I thought you were going to go with Cher. Uh, 4 o'clock p.m. Uh, Touch of Pilates, their new location, 2960 Triverton Pike Drive, Suite 105. And I believe I'm actually the one going out and covering this tonight. So. All right. Yeah. Maybe I'll see you there. If not, you'll see some of their uh, ribbon cutting here tomorrow on TF. All right. Also, we have the news here today. Got some fun events coming up. Uh, the Senior Center first. The Milton House and the Underground Railroad in Wisconsin. This is going to be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Learn about the history of the Milton House Museum, Wisconsin's last authentic Underground Railroad, Railroad station that can be toured. Built in 1844, that's when I was born, it was served as a uh, stagecoach in and a railroad stop in Milton, Wisconsin. Carrie, the executive director of the Milton Historical Society, will be present for this interesting program on Friday, February 8th at the Fitchburg Senior Center. Kicks off at 12.45 p.m. Hear about the origins of slavery in the U.S., Wisconsin's role in the abolishment of the stronghold, and the efforts of those in Milton who assisted men and women on their path to freedom. The Milton House is a National Historic Landmark and recognized by the National Park Service Network to Freedom for its role in Underground Railroad. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. I'm breaking this one right here, right now. You're hearing it first. The annual Fitchburg Senior Center Pancake Breakfast has a date. Mark it. Sunday, April 7th, 8 a.m. to noon. $10 for adults, $5 for children. Two, up to 10 years old. We got scrambled eggs. We got sausage. We got pancakes. We got applesauce, juice, coffee. Of course, all the support here is going to the Fitchburg Senior Center. 270-4290. Get that on the calendar. And my suggestion to you, get there at 8 a.m. Because <laughs> I, uh, I I filmed this last year, Andrew. I took my, uh, took my grandma there. And, uh, yeah, we had to wait in line. Yeah, busy. It was busy. Yeah. I'd say we got there at, gosh, like 9. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It was packed, which is great. Good food, too, by the way. All right. Uh, last but not least, Dane County Executive Joe Parisi announces purchase of new equipment for the Anderson Farm County Park. And you're like, well, where is that? Mm -hmm. Or for some of you, you know where this is at. And uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah. The purchase of a new tractor is uh, is what's going on here. But it says here, announce a new tractor for the farm. Located in the town of Oregon, the tractor will be used to advance the county park's agricultural mission, follow a successful $23,000 fundraising campaign uh, by the Anderson Park Friends Incorporated. The new equipment will be used at the county park for forest restoration, prairie building, a maintenance, a food pantry garden, agricultural and educational activities, and its dog park. That tractor is going to be like multi-use tractor. That's pretty cool. It'll be good. It will be good. And uh, hey, it's... It's close to us here in Fitchburg, so let's take advantage. Let's go hit up some of those great parks that we have here in Fitchburg and in Dane County. All right, that does it for your headlines. Coming up next, we're talking about uh, winter biking. Yeah, it came out in the green newsletter, and we're going to tell you and uh, share with some of the tips to make your life a little bit easier if you are a biker and biking in the wintertime. That's next right here on Talking Fitchburg.